managed to tell Sophie these Alright, what's good, YouTube? Real. It's the one and only Brave It's Two Times, and as you see, we have a new game here on the channel. Usually it's it's 2K or Call of Duty, but we got some Killing Flora 2. As you can see, I'm playing a, a game on Suicidal, which is the, the second to last of the hardest difficulties in the game. And... I was, this was actually a public game with a few people, but, you know, they, they died on, like, the first round, so, you know, they left me with nothing, but, you know, I'm a god at this game. You know, you, YouTubers refer to things as, like, trash and, and Big Z and stuff. Every, everything in this game is trash to me, even even the, the flesh pounds, the scrakes, it's all trash to me, even the bosses. So, see, I got, I got these uh, spitfires right here to take out some of the trash. As you can see, I'm using my level 20 gunslinger. You know, and now I'm trying to play it like Black Ops Zombies, where I'm just you know running around in circles, keeping the, the Zeds away. But you know, you know, something Black Ops Zombies doesn't have is these annoying spiders, invisible zombies that attack you. As you can see, Suicidal really ain't that hard. You know, there's only 20 Zeds left. You know, so I flew through these rounds pretty quickly. Um, the one thing about surviving this game is just making sure you don't get trapped. Because if you get trapped in this game, you're pretty much gonna die. And plus, we got a, a Christmas update, so all the Zeds are updated to look, you know, Christmas themed. So we got the gingerbread man, you know, nutcrackers. Um, we got a Star Scream over here shooting missiles. And one thing I like about uh, these high difficulties is there's ammo crates around the map. Now, yeah, as you can see, these invisible ones are kind of fucking me up a little bit. <laughs> but, um, yeah, there, there's always these ammo crates around the map. Because it's a big problem that me and some of my friends usually have when we're, we're playing this game. is running out of ammo, like, too early in the round. So, and you know, so I have these dual D. These are the best guns in the game right here. It's, these things will, will shred through any Zeds. As you see, I'm on uh, wave four or seven. Um, there's a lot of settings in this game. We could do four waves, seven waves, ten waves. We could go endless. I've I've played endless a few times. So. Oh, the thing about endless though is there's a boss like every five waves. So on wave five, you barely have any money, so you can't really buy anything to kill a boss. But and this map right here, I, I believe it's called Biotics Lab. Um, basically, every round you go to a new area. And I, I I didn't like this map at first, but it's actually not that bad. Time's up. Um, you know, preferably for this game, you want you want to have large open maps so you don't get uh, trapped. Um, there's a new one that came out in this Christmas update called Elysium that's very large and open. Um, <laughs> that's what he said, but you know. So um, I'm gonna try to give a rundown of some of the different Zeds right here. So these these ones with the swords are pretty annoying. Um, whenever you try to shoot them in the head, they just cross them swords, and they, they, all your bullets bounce off of them. And then these spiders right here are annoying too. It's very, very easy to get trapped by them. On um, that snowman that I just killed, that's called the husk. Um, some some games his aim is bad, then other games he has aim lot, so you just gotta watch out for him because his cannon does a lot of damage. And then the the elves that you're seeing that I'm just shooting those, I believe those are called cyst or clots. I don't, I don't know, but. Yeah, they're they, they're basically easy kills, and then that right there, the fat one. <laughs> oh, those are called bloats. Those get pretty annoying because they could throw up on you from like a mile away. And as you can see, there's more husks shooting at me, so I'm just throwing some grenades right now. Yeah, you can see like how close that shot got got to me. You know, some other games he would have completely missed, and then other games he'll he'll snipe you from across the map. And then the husk will also, if you get close to me, also shoots a flamethrower at you. And then that slow motion right there, that's... Yeah, you see I got hit by the husk. That, that slow motion right there is called that time. I'm, I always have bad luck with that thing because I'm always reloading when it happens, so I never get to do anything cool. Um, but some pretty cool stuff can happen during that. Like I've seen, you know, zombies blow up in my face during that slow motion. It's pretty sick. Yep, and then see these are uh, dual spitfires right here. These are not, you know, the, I wouldn't... When we first started playing this game, you know, we thought these were the <laughs> these we thought these were the best guns to have, and actually it's not. We've, the dual pistols, like the Beagles, I and mean, then some of the assault rifles and shotguns, are actually the best guns to have. Um, I, I assuming we just thought they were the best, you know, because they shoot fire. And the, these, yeah, these Desert Eagles right here, the are one of the top weapons in the game. As you see, I just took out that husk with ease.
And then you'll see later in the game how I how I take out the nutcrackers. Um, I believe it's this next round, actually. Yeah, this room right here. I thought for sure I was gonna die because of um, how small it is. And you see the the dosh up in the corner of money. Um, it'd be cool if this game had like double points and, and zombie blood and stuff, but well, no. But you know they don't have that. This ain't Black Ops. <laughs> I and mean, what I'm doing right now is I'm skipping the trader. So the trader, um, it's basically where you can buy your weapons. It's like a, it's like the mystery box, but you actually get to choose what you get. <laughs> you know, instead of being randomized to getting some trash gun or a teddy bear. Um, things do get pretty expensive, especially um, if you if you're like playing with some friends and if you die, you don't get any money during the round. So, you know, th during high rounds, if you're broke, it's pretty hard to survive. Um, these Spitfires are only 650, so you can get them pretty early. And they, as you can see, they've been getting the job done. I use these a majority of the game. You know, I'm busting heads off of gingerbreads. Um, I believe it's this round too. Where I'm gonna kill a couple of nutcrackers. You see the husk right there trying to shoot me. Yep. And then I almost had a close call right here. I, I almost died. You see, I got I got trapped by spiders and the invisible ones. You gotta be careful for that. So I just start spamming grenades on the ground. Oh, and then there's, and then the siren right there, the one that's screaming, that, that one's pretty annoying too. You know, as you see, you know, they're just tearing through my armor. Uh, the armor in this game is, is like a toned down version of Juggernaut, Juggernaut from uh, Black Ops. You know, it just lets you take a little more hits, but, you know. But the zombies in this game hit fast, as you can see right there. It's not like Black Ops where they hit you once, like every five seconds. You have in that uh, sound you're hearing right there. The large war that means there's flesh pounds, and quarter pounds, and you see right there. Um, those are quarter pounds, the little nutcrackers. The, the actual like flesh pound are the big red ones. And as you can see, I took out these deagles because these things just shred right through them. And you can see, I killed, I killed all these guys with ease. You know, they didn't even touch me. Look at that. Yeah, just, yeah. Just took them out with ease, and then it also takes out this bloat with ease too, just like a, just like a few shots. And again, the ammo crates help too because you could save some money on ammo. Um, but the key to this game is to always have an armor. Um, you don't need it much in the early rounds, but in high rounds like this, you're definitely gonna need it. As you can see, if I didn't have armor when I got trapped by all them spiders and invisible ones, um, I for sure would have died. Yep. See, the first thing I always do is buy armor, then I fill up, and then I go and buy these pistols right here, the, the dual wield uh, AF 2011s. I was deciding between the Magnums, but the 2011s get a lot more ammo. And they're actually one of the best guns of the game too, as you can see. I just shredded through, uh, I just teared through some, some trash with these things. And you can see, I'm skipping the trader again. Um, that usually lasts for like a minute after a round ends. But since I'm playing solo, I don't really need it as much. I just get what I need to get and I end it. Um, but if you're playing with friends, you know, or a public game, you want to. Um, have as much time as possible to buy stuff and then this is my first time like getting this far on this map so I was curious about what this area was and as again I'm just using these spitfires um, just to take out some trash and you see it's, they're getting the job done and this is on suicidal the second uh, of the highest difficulties and once again I'm just doing like black ops zombies just running in circles and one thing I should have done in this game is I should have upgraded uh, some of my pistols. I never did that. And as you see, these invisible ones again, they, these get pretty annoying. Um, especially when they just spawn out of nowhere. And the reason why I'm only using dual wield pistols is because the perk system in this game, you got like medics, gunslingers, uh, commandos, swats, berserkers, firebugs. Um, the reason why I'm using dual pistols is because I'm a gunslinger. And I'm trying to rank them up to level 25 so I could have a chance on Hell on Earth, which is which is the highest difficulty in this game. Um, it's like playing on a veteran in, in Call of Duty, almost. Um, on Hell on Earth, though, on round one, there'll be like a hundred zo uh, zombies, and you know, you know, me and Sturdio have tried it a few times, and we don't make it past one wave. So we're trying to get our, we're trying to rank up so we can get there. And the gunslingers' main weapons are dual wield pistols. That's why I'm using them so much. Just to, to rank them up, and the, again, there, there's no real like double XP in this game, so the only way to rank up is just by getting kills with the pistols. And again, um, they're getting the job done. You know. I thought pistols were bad in this game. I always thought you know the guns that shot fire and it, you know 
cool like science shit. I thought those were the best guns, but those actually aren't really that good. They don't do a lot of damage. You know, they look cool, but not really that good compared to normal bullet weapons. Gotcha. Except these Spitfires right here. This is a good, you know, starting weapon. As you can see, I take out these 2011s right here. You know, I just shredded through that bloat. And that sound uh, you're hearing right there, those are those are scrakes. Um, you know, we call them the butcher. Um, basically, he's this uh, Zed with a chainsaw, and once he takes enough damage, he gets pretty enraged, and he can do a lot of damage to you. Um, I usually like saving those for for last, but I see the, the, the flesh pound right behind me, too. So the blue ones, the small ones from earlier, the ones that I shredded, um, those those were quarter pounds. And then this big one right here is the actual flesh pound. We'll see, you know, a, v a version of him uh, later on. And you see, I take out these 2011, and you'll see why I bought these things. As you see, you know, just tore right through that guy's head, you know. And I, I saw there was a second one, and he almost he almost killed me, but, you know, these guns, you know, took care of him. And I see all I got left is a bunch of scrakes. And then the way I, I like to kill these guys, I just like to throw some grenades. And as you're going to see, these pistols just drop him instantly. You know, he stood no chance. <laughs> and you see, I just clapped that gingerbread. Yep, and then the slow motion right here, you can see I just take him out with ease as his chainsaw goes flying. Yep. See how fast that killed him. Uh, the Spitfires would, uh, definitely would not have killed him right there. And then this is... Yep, and then this is the final wave before the boss is like the final area. And you're gonna see right here, I made a little mistake, you know. I had a lot of money. I mean, so you could sell stuff to get money back. I filled all my ammo. I wasn't sure what boss I was gonna get. And I wanted to get the RPG. Or like some like cool gun, but you're gonna see, I, there's like a weight limit in this game on the guns you could carry, and I did not have enough, and I still wanted these dual pistols. Um, so I ended up just buying the Spitfire back, and I'm just exploring some of these weapons because some of these I've never even used before. You know, me and me and Sergio got in a public lobby the other day, and the, the dudes we were playing with were using some exotic shit and just <laughs> flying through rounds. Last so I, I ended up buying these Spitfires I back. The um, I didn't know what boss I was gonna get. Uh, there's five bosses in this game. There's the um, there's the Doctor, um, King Flesh Pound, the Abomination, the Matriarch, and the Patriarch. I've, I've had a chance to fight them all. The Matriarch by far is the hardest one. And you see I get King Flesh Pound. The big nutcracker. This is one of the scarier ones. Yeah, that, that noise right there means they're spawning. As you can see, he spawns his little goons right here, but you know. Dude didn't even get a chance to touch me. Because you know, these pistols just shred right, to, uh, right through him. Excuse me. And this is King Flesh Pound right here. And he does a lot of damage. You know, there's... There's like no way to dodge those, you know. He's spinning like a, a little helicopter, but there's, there's like no way to dodge those things. I mean, he just instantly catches up to you. I mean, it's like he's got overdrive on from Black Ops 3. And uh, as you can see, these pistols are doing a lot of damage, but the bosses in this game, what, what happens is every time they get on low health, they always heal themselves or they use a shield. And this is what this guy did right here. Yep. Uh, like, see, I, I, was, I thought I was going to win, but you know, with his un undodgeable attacks right here. You know, he, he activates a shield, so, you know, all that damage I did was irre irrelevant, and then, you know, with his undodgeable attacks, he just wrecked me right there. So, you know, a little disappointed that I didn't win. But, you know, if, you know, maybe if I had, like, a friend alongside me, or some other people, we could have gotten him. But those, oh, what I should have done was I should have upgraded, you know, some of my pistols. Maybe I could have done a lot more damage, but... It, it is what it is, you know. Like I said, I'll be back on this game, you know. These high rounds are nothing to me. I mean, as you can see, some of the different perks right there. Sharpshooter, Commando, uh, Gunslinger is my main one in this game. Yep, and as you can see, I did a lot with the Spitfire. Uh, and then the map votes. I, d I ended up getting off after this game, so... Because it was pretty late, so I didn't really vote for a map. I kind of just closed my application. But uh, the next video is probably going to be the new GTA heist, which actually comes out tomorrow on Tuesday at the time I film this video. Um, so I'll see you see you guys then.